high up in the mountains, north of the Philippines, is a world of living landscapes and deeply rooted tradition, passed on from one generation to the next. Join us as we explore one of the country's national treasures, as we endeavor to view these wonders from a higher perspective. As a young man, I've always enjoyed the thrill of discovering the world's wonders. And some places truly deserve another trip back. Until today, I am glad I never run out of friends willing to come with me on my crazy adventures. Terry and I are flying and riding buddies who share a thirst for exploration. Today, we will be flying up north to see some of the most dramatic views on Earth. So what do you think? We'll head to Banaue then, huh? Looking forward to it. What route did you want to take? Well, I planned uh, first one just direct, but it takes us over high terrain. That's right. We went through the plans and made sure we chose a good, safe route with some alternatives in case the weather turns bad. Okay. So what do you think? Sounds good to me. Old pilots can do this? I think the two of us can get there. <laughs> <laughs> Terry started the BO-105 and we took off short. We went further north and the magnificent mountains are very visible on such a clear day. As we flew over the rugged terrain of northern Luzon, another set of crew are also en route to join our trip. Led by another crazy friend, Jonathan Trapp, a balloonist who has achieved remarkable feats, the team agreed to meet up in the mountains of Banaue. While they took the eight-hour drive, it didn't take long for Terry and I to reach the province of Ifugao, marked by river valleys and massive forests. We reached Banaue and found a very tight landing spot. Our landing skills were certainly put to the test. Can you imagine landing beside the main highway? I think this is the first time that this will happen. Definitely. I've never landed anywhere like this. I kept looking for something big. <laughs> you said no by the red road. <laughs> the town of Banawe, located in the mountains of the Ifugao province, is home to the ancient rice terraces. Two of five terrace clusters inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Sites can be found here. This breathtaking place will be the setting for the rest of our adventure. While Terry secured the helicopter in the landing site, I went ahead to the Banawe Hotel, where I was welcomed by the town's local officials. Good morning, yeah, good, good morning, morning sir. <laughs> Welcome to the beautiful home of Banawe Rice Terrace. We're lucky the weather is good. Did you special order the weather yeah, for us? We need a special ritual for that. Special <laughs> ritual. <laughs> That's good. Vice Mayor Joel Bugalon, together with Councillor John Malani and Tourism Officer Dale Humiwa, discuss the current situation of the rice terraces. Earthquakes, drought, crop infestations, and low returns for farmers have threatened the existence of the rice terraces. Vice Mayor Joel explains that the local government 
has been actively taking steps in order to preserve these treasures. The rice terraces of the Cordilleras are the only heritage monuments in the country without any colonial influence. In an attempt to honor this heritage site, Jonathan and I plan on flying the Philippine flag hot air balloon over this beautiful landscape. The challenge was finding a suitable launch site. Banaue has seen modern developments in recent years. Narrow winding streets, houses perched on cliffs with high tension wires are characteristics of this area. What we needed was a wide open area. As the rest of the team arrived that evening, we set our plans in motion. Up next, we continue to explore Banawa's breathtaking beauty while immersing in its age-old traditions as we attempt to set a milestone in Philippine aviation history. Stretch, 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 stretch. No, that's right.